At the end of 2019, there were 79.5 million individuals who were forcibly displaced as a result of persecution, conflict, violence, and human rights violations. This is an increase of 8.7 million people over the previous year. The world's forcibly displaced population remains at a record high. An estimate of 30 to 34 million, or 40% of forcibly displaced persons, were children below the age of 18 years. And children constituted about half of the global refugee population. These are not just numbers. Behind every number is a man, woman, or child. Each individual has experienced being forced to leave their country in order to escape war, persecution, or a natural disaster. The Christian scriptures remind me that I am commanded to love my God with all of my heart, with all of my soul, and with all of my strength, and with all of my mind, and that I must love my neighbor as I love myself. In Jewish tradition, the concept of tikkun olam means to repair or improve the world. One way that we can fulfill this commitment is by welcoming our refugee neighbors, people who come here seeking safety and then contribute to our community as they rebuild their own lives. 1 Peter 4 verse 9 says, Show hospitality to one another without grumbling. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, No one of you believes until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. He also said, Peace be upon him, show mercy to those on earth, and the one in the heavens will show mercy to you. Texans are known for their friendliness, welcoming spirit, and southern hospitality. We hope you'll join us in welcoming refugees and other displaced communities. We hope you'll join us in welcoming refugees. We hope you will join us in welcoming refugees. We hope you'll join us in welcoming refugees. We hope you'll join us in welcoming refugees and other displaced communities. Happy World Refugee Day, y'all.